Happy Monday, everybody. Yes, it actually works. <laughs> so, I'm very sorry. I'm just, I'm I, just, Hi, everybody. I'm Louise from Wildflower Wool, and welcome to Monday Night's episode of New Start Monday Nights. So, this is my son, Eric. If you haven't met Eric before, hi, Sam. <laughs> yeah, Sam will probably be on here later. So, anyway, Eric okay. wanted to hang out with us and chat with us. So, I don't yeah. know how much knitting he's going to talk about. We should not going to talk about any Okay, he's just he's just gonna chat with you guys in the comments. So it is Monday. You'll notice I'm in a different spot. I'm at, not at Anita's. I'm not at home. Oh, hi, hi there, there Eric, Eric, and Louise. Hi, Susanna. Hi, Susanna. So hold on for comments for one second. Why? So what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna talk obviously about the yarn that you were all voting for today. I bought new start. A couple of weeks ago that I can show you. So I hope you guys are all grabbing your knitting, getting comfy, grabbing a drink, getting settled in, and we will try to chat for an hour. We usually chat for an hour. Um, internet up here can be a little iffy, so fingers crossed that we get we get through the hour or most of it. Anyways, so the yarn. Let's talk about this yarn. So did, who I went yarn shopping? I put a poll up in my Instagram feed yes Saturday. Saturday. Saturday was local yarn shop day. And there seemed to be a lot of people out yarn shopping, supporting their local yarn shops, which was really wonderful. So I've got three local yarn shops um, right in my area, two in the city and one just in the next town over, which is only like half hour drive. So London Yarns. Where is Wildflower where, 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 Oh, hi. We are in Ontario, Canada. Uh, so London Yarns is only about a 10 minute drive from my house. Knit Stitch, again, is about 10 minutes the opposite way. And Little Red Mitten is about half an hour in the next town that where my daughter lives. Very, very convenient. So which, I- Which, 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 which you need is in, which you need is over there. Yes, I need and the baby are here as well. So we're doing- well, how about you wait? And I'm just, I'm just asking. Okay, yeah. If Anita wants to come out, Scarlet, yeah. Scarlet was a little fussy. A bunch of summer yeah. tops, little short sleeve <laughs> tees or tank tops or kind of a combination of. There she is. Oh, she's a happy baby now. Yeah. So, because I know some of you are probably thinking, Louise, you're getting a little carried mm. away. <laughs> Okay, so everybody, this is my this is my family, my son, my daughter, and my granddaughter Scarlett. Hello, she's happy now. Crashing the podcast. <laughs> she's really drunk. She's happy. She's no drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so I know, really, new yarn, new babies. I think the baby trumps the yarn, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, hi Nicole. Oh, from Winnipeg. Okay, so we're both in Canada. So fun. So, oh, right. thanks, Lynn. So, um, my mom is also here, but I think she's your grandma staying away from the camera. Keep her wish. So I, maybe, maybe she'll. Oh, yeah, that was a no. I think that was a no. Maybe grandma right. will pop here, her head in. Here, here oh, she is. Here I am. Here I'm gonna is. get to see the whole family. So this is my there mom. My mom, Dorothy. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the here. There she is. <laughs> So, okay, I right. totally forgot what I was talking about yarn. Mm -hmm. So, knit stitch. I'm Su sorry. Suzanne had posted this. So, what is this? Kremko Sowol Reborn Denim. So, it is recycled denim. So, I was thought, yes, talking about that fact that I want to make a few summer tops. And I <laughs> will see if how many yeah, I actually yep, get okay. done. I know that's always a, a little bit of a wild card. But okay, when yeah, I saw Suzanne good. post this and it's 95% cotton, 5% other fiber, which I'm wondering if that is like the, th the thread from the jeans. So this is recycled denim. So recycled jeans, I suppose, jean skirts, jean shorts. What else do you use denim for? Underwear, socks. Maybe, maybe. So anyways. Underwear, socks. Underwear and socks. I don't know. Have you ever had... Jean, you know the material your jean, blue jeans are made out of. Would you make that into underwear? I guess anything goes, right? I guess, Anyways. I guess, well, 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 so, socks, socks, maybe? Socks for sure, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. maybe. But, 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 but underwear, no. Probably not. You're and, right. And, 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 and excuse me, me, me just for one second, was okay? Okay. okay. 
Okay. Okay. You could do it. Okay. Did, did, did you remember? I did. Go and get what is it? Your, what is it? Get a drink. Okay. Go get a drink. Do you want, okay. Do you want something to drink? I'm fine. You better be. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about grandma. Sorry about Recycled that. denim. So I, I really know. love the fact that it's recycled and it is really super soft. It actually reminds me of some of my cotton and linen that I have in my stash. And um, this one, more? okay, just how about we set this for a minute? Sorry, um, <laughs> anyways, it feels really here. nice. You might what think it next time? it's um, a little bit rough, but it's, it's actually not, it's actually really, really nice. So, um, I went to Suzanne, went to Knit Stitch to pick this up, and she had quite a few colors. There was, there was navy, navy was the one I was actually looking for, but. It was one ball short of what we were doing an educated guess of what I would need for a summer top. So there was lot, there was lots of black. Can you guys believe it? Nobody was buying the black. <laughs> I may regret this because a lot of you were saying yeah. lace and black. Basically, you're like, Louise, are you crazy? And possibly, possibly. But I love black. I like this top here. I thought I would go a little wild and crazy and do a little color, but I always wear black. So I thought, you know, really this this would be something that I would definitely wear a lot of. So, okay, without further ado, let's talk about what you guys voted for. So, something plain and simple stockinette. There was a lot of comments saying if you want to wear it this summer, do stock in it. If you're fine waiting till next summer, go ahead, add some pattern, make it look really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, some people were, it was, looked at the black yarn two different ways. Some people said black, black stitches aren't going to really show up, do stock in it. Some people said no, black needs a little pizzazz added to it, it needs the lace pattern. A lot of you said black and lace, as we all know, black in any kind of pattern, black yarn in general, can be tricky to knit. But <clears throat> we're going to go with it. I, I just had a flashback to my black. <laughs> I remember that yarn I bought when I was in Norway, the black alpaca lace weight boucle. There was a lot of things against that yarn. Oh, well, all of it, really. Black. Lace, alpaca, boucle. Like, black is dark. Boucle is fuzzy, knobby, which can make the stitches hard to see. Lace is super, super fine, and alpaca is slippery. So you combine that all together, and <laughs> that ended up being a project that never did get finished. I vetoed that one right quickly because I kept dropping stitches, lost my lace, my stitch count, because I think, I don't even think I was doing lace. I think I was just doing garter stitch. Anyways, we're not going to have a re, um, replay of that because I'm feeling much more confident in this because I will be able to see my stitches because it's not boucle. It's not lace weight. It is fingering weight. I think it'll be fine. And I'm really, really excited. I was really excited about that project too, but I'm really, really excited about this one. Um, just, there's the yarn. So what? almost has like these little flex in it. So we'll see how it knits up. So what else can I tell you about the 50 gram balls? It suggests a three to a four millimeter. I'll probably do a three or three and a half. It does say you can wash it, which is nice. Um, 20, 20, 20 stitches. That seems like a lot. I was looking at the gauge here. Hmm. Anyways, so yeah, ninety-five percent cotton, five percent other fibers. I think is what it says. And where's the yardage on here? Oh, fifty grams, hundred and fifty-five meters. So I'm really, really excited for this. So what you guys voted for? Lace or plain stockinette? I'm not really sure which one I was hoping for. I'd be happy with either because for every reason that you guys suggested, stockinette cast on and just knit, knit, knit. And I don't get bored with just stockinette or garter stitch. I like it. I find it really relaxing, good Netflix binge watching. 
Okay, drum roll, Liz please. has got my drum roll in here, which yeah. is my cue to say. Which one? one. So. Yep. I think I'm I am I am organic from Winnipeg, but moved to go mm here -hmm. in 1985. Well, whatever, because okay. Marianne, Lise, Luke, Stockman, body shorted mm -hmm. sleep. Marianne's giving me a good idea for I, do a lace yoke, which would be fun. I drum roll, please. Okay, drum roll, please. The winner. Liz, drum roll, please. Beautiful yarn is going to be knit with lace. <laughs> so, lace it is. And I. Drum roll, please. I know. Liz did the drum roll. I think that's her saying, Louise, you're talking too much. Yes. Let us know yeah. what we picked. Did I is, the winning? Is that right, right Liz? <laughs> Oh, Miriam, I know, I think, and I know you guys are right. Mm -hmm. Everybody's completely right. Lace with the black will be a little more challenging. Probably have to knit either sitting in front of the window during the day, have a light on at night. And, um, my women. <laughs> oh, that's Jocelyn. Her winning streak stands. All right, Jocelyn. <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. I think it'll be really cute to have a lace pattern. And I found. A really easy lace pattern. Okay, don't quote me on that when I come back next week. And if I'm pulling my hair out, <laughs> or I might say the stitch is slow, but I've got a pattern in mind. After we're done chatting here, I'm going to go through all my needles, that bag of needles that I brought. I'm going to see what I can find for needles and do a game. Northern, stretch. northern, and focus. I needed and I can't see any of the pattern you be buying. That's right. So Jocelyn's giving me encouragement. That's, That's good. good. I like that, Jocelyn. I know. It's going to be fun. Am okay. I'm, I'm just going to this. Um, oh, okay? Let's just wait for a minute, please. Okay, okay. sorry. Okay. Sorry. Um, okay. Shall we show them what I started last week? Yes. Okay. Drum roll, please, Liz. <laughs> Do we need another drum roll for mm. last week's project? So Liz, last week. Come on, drum roll, please. Last week was these two yarns for my stash. Let's see if I can try to untangle them here. So classic wool. I had the green. Oh, my goodness. What did I do? I don't know. I don't know what I did. I'm kind of tangled here. Don't okay. Worry. So, drum roll, yes. Oh, there's the <laughs> Okay. Cindy L. Oh, hi, Cindy. Okay. So, last week's yarn. Which one? Sorry, the lighting's not the best tonight, guys, but this was kind of the. Ooh, I have another story I can tell you. No, first. first Anyways, first, please. We'll talk about it when I get to the suck. This yarn. So the green was in my stash. This really pretty, it's a, like a dusty rose color. I think it was called Rosewood. Came from Hi, Eric. Um, Hi, Linda. Cindy. One of you guys sent me some yarn and this was in it. So this is, is a dusty rose. It's actually, it's very pretty. And I really like it with the green. What did I have you guys with last week? Entrelac or, oh my gosh, what was it? Entrelac. Brioche. Those were the two options last week. You guys all voted for Entrelac. So look at this. I'm doing a pillow cover for that oblong pillow that I have. I have the pillow form already. Pronto. And Brioche. See, I know you yeah. guys can always remember so much better than I can. Yeah. What? Well, well uh, us too, right? I have a start. Us <laughs> too, right, Mom? Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. So this looks like a very tangled mess, but it's not. It shouldn't be. Anyways, I'm started. I, <laughs> okay. So just ignore, I'll, I'll, unt I'll untangle. But there, there's the start of the Entrelac pillow. I've got one round. I've got all my base triangles started here. So. There they are. I know they look like kind of a mushed up mess. There's the very first one. So that's what I started with. I'm going, making my squares, my, my rectangles, nine stitches. So 
So this is what they're going to be. So <coughs> fairly big with worsted weight, a 4.5 millimeter needle. That looks great. Good like, challenge. Oh, Susan. Hi, Susie. You know, it's really fun and it's not that hard. Once you, I would say, watch, watch a video, get the idea of how the, the um. The drum roll, because I was picking up guests. Oh, to, so Diane did, Diane, Diane took Liz. care of the drum roll. I know, Liz usually, but she said she was busy picking, she's knitting her sock. So, yes, don't interrupt the guests at picking up stitches. Yeah. <laughs> so, what I did, I didn't cast on a set amount like the, like the um circumference of the pillow i just literally started with one stitch happy to help you out <laughs> thanks diane so i literally started with this stitch right down here did some increases and made my first base triangle did those all the way around and hi friends i went went i just got here I was boating, boating my oh. son people syrup for him. Bottling, oh, make, make syrup. Nice. Yeah, yep, it's lace, Jen. And, and then Jean, thanks. Mm -hmm. Who's Jean? Jen. Who? She, she's another knitter. Who's Jean? She's a knitter. Okay. And then Liz. Yeah. Yummy, 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 tummy, maple syrup. <laughs> I love maple syrup, Liz. I know. We all let maple syrup, don't we? Oh, what's okay. it? What's can it? What's it? What's it? Can I talk for a sec? One second, one second. It's so good, but so much work. Well, well I got to give us, well, yes and no, I can see that. I think right it'll now. be worth it, though, right? Yeah. 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 Do you have a smaller one? Yes, sir. Then you better get the smaller one. So this is the start. This is the start. So I'm liking the colors together and it's going really easy. So what you're doing is picking up stitches. I just finished this green rectangle. So if you can see, I don't know if it's backwards for you guys or not, but the triangles. The triangles are leaning left, the rectangles are leaning right. So I'm working around here, and this is where I, I just finished this last stitch up here. I have these edge stitches here, and this is where I'm going to pick up my nine stitches. From here all the way down to here, I'm just going to pick up nine. And they, they pick up pretty well. Um, sometimes you have to kind of skip a, skip a row, so... Um, you can get the nine all the way down, right? Pretty close to the base of this next triangle. And then you just start knitting and I'm just doing stock knit back and forth. I thought about doing a little bit, like you could put lace in here, but what I'm thinking I might do afterwards is I might do a little bit of embroidery, either on the dark green with the pink or do some dark green on, did I say that right? With the pink, you know what I mean. I might do, I might do that. Anyways, it's actually really fun. It is maybe a little more tedious, but you're getting a good chunk knit. Like it, it, you have to knit the whole entire square, and then you go pick up stitches, do your next square, you know, and just go all the way around. So it does take a while, but once you have one whole round done, you've got a good few, you know, couple inches. I don't know how long is that. So it does. And work out kind of quick. And it's different, it's, it's just a different change of pace. You can knit backwards if you want to, because on these nine stitches, you're knitting across, you're turning your work, and you're purling back. So if you want to, you can work backwards um, just to um, prevent the, the turning back and forth. But this is such a small project right now that I'm just I'm just turning it. And because I'm purling, I think I will just keep turning. If I was doing these in garter stitch and was just all knitting, then I might be more tempted to knit back. But um, I think I'll just, I'll just keep turning it. So on the wrong side, you can see where I've picked up the stitches. And then on the front side, you get a nice join. So 
it's fun. Not for everybody. It's one of those things. Some people don't like the look. You know, it kind of gives you a patchwork look. This is something that... My favorite, Eric, where, where am I? <laughs> oh, my God. Would you would you share one of your pops with Diane if she was here? Yes, I would. Oh, Diane, you're very lucky. Mm. <laughs> and Sam, too. And Sam, too. Has Sam showed up in the comments yet? I don't know. I I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, we'll um, scrub. Scrub. Okay, hold scrub. on. Scrub. Thanks. Okay. Um, Mom, so oh, yes. So this here, this is as much as I like knitting it, I'm not entirely sure I would want a sweatshirt made out of it. But blankets and pillows, dishcloths, pot holders, that kind of thing, I really, I really, really do like it. And it does look really nice if you've got a yarn with a, a long stripe. Like Noro looks really nice done up in Ontrelac. But we're going to do, we're using up stash here. Um, so it's, so has anybody done Entrelac that's watching tonight? Jen, you said it, um, it's so good, but so much work. Yes. I think it was somebody else saying the same thing. We'll scroll, Mom. Yeah. Um, but see this, it's just a pillow. So it's not going to be a huge, um, huge time commitment. I'm saying all this, right? It's so easy. It's so fun. It's unique. Well, yeah. When I get to the end of the project, ask me again. I'll be maybe saying like, okay, that was enough. That was enough. Because it is, I've got long rounds because the pillow is I longer. But it's pretty shallow. So I'm not going to have to do a lot of rounds. I'm going to do, I don't know, two or three at least of the blocks going one way, other way. They alternate. And then I'll end with a row of triangles across the top. Um, it's in the round, so that I will just have to whip stitch the top and the bottom together. Um, um, Easy peasy. Oh, um, okay. Cindy, Cindy. Nicole has. Um, his... Cindy, Cindy. Yep, I see. I see. Not, not, no, not me. I mm. haven't either. The word is, I just brought a uh, into scarf pattern. Hopefully, I can. Figure it out. Mm -hmm. Su Joe? Susan, 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 none, none for me, but a knitting backwards sounds fun. Mm -hmm. So knitting backwards is actually, if you know anybody who knits left-handed, that's the same thing. So how people knit left-handed is what we call knitting backwards. Just as a FYI. Um, Joe, that's like really exciting that you've got an ultra -like scarf pattern. I think once you, yeah, if you look on YouTube, find a video or two, and once you get the idea, it's picking up stitches, it's knitting, it's purling, and working two together. Your new block and a block of the one beside it, and you're Do you need them? just, no, no, it's okay. Um, yeah. So it looks like you're decreasing stitches from the block below, but don't worry about that. Just keep going. And they just build on one another. So it's you do have to pick up stitches, but it's not hard. And if you haven't done it before, just a little bit of practice, you'll get it. Don't um, worry. Um, um, yep. Um, um, but, 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 but just well, okay. Just Katie just didn't try it but didn't finish the project. Yeah. It's not for, like it's not for everybody. It's kind of one of those things like brioche. Or double knitting, you kind of either like it or you don't, and that's fine. Okay, what else? Next, next project that I worked a lot on. Um, I, 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 I text and Sam. Um, just, 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 okay. just, 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 Sorry, sorry, okay. sorry, 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 Oh, okay, Sam's just asked me something else. Anyways, okay. Remember this yarn from, what, two, two weeks ago? This is the Blue Jean Baby. This is a Lolo Did It hand-dyed sock yarn. This is really, really, really nice yarn. Oh. Sam is on here. Okay. Hi, Sam. Okay. Hey, Sam. Can I, can I remember Sam? Okay. No, we're not. Can I remember Sam? No. 
Can you remember Zoom? Can you remember Zoom? Stop, please. I really want Zoom. Yeah, well, no. I'm okay. married. So, this asymmetrical scarf, shawl, one ball, is getting some size on it. I worked on this yesterday as we were driving up to the cottage. And so I had about yeah, three, four hours. How long were we in the car? Quite a I few hours. I would say it's just like five hours. So yeah, maybe five hours. Hi, Diane. And Diane, um, Diane. since I wasn't driving. Because Anita was. Yep, I got to do some knitting. So I put in a stitch marker. I'm pretty sure this is where I was last Monday. Last Monday, I didn't do a live, did I? Last Monday was recorded. So anyway, I think I moved my stitch marker. Oh, so yeah. this is how much I've got done this past yeah. week. This has been my go-to project when I wanted something easy. This was like my binge watching, my Netflix watching. Um, just because it's garter stitch. Really, really fun. Easter. Really easy. And um, I was working on this before I got the Entrelac started. Now that I've got the Entrelac started, it would be a good Netflix watching project too. All right, yarn looks. So, that yarn looks good. Hi, Adrian. I'm really liking how this is, how the colors are coming together on this. You always wonder, right, when you're using variegated yarn, how the pooling will be. And I kind of wondered right here when it started. Here and here, and I thought, oh, am I going to end up with big sections? And I may still, as it gets wider, but that's just something that happens with these yarns. And if it does, that's okay. But so far, I'm loving the blues and the oranges. Yep, I see. I'm with um, you higher. Hi, Sam. Oh. I like you, Sam. Um, and, yeah, there is left or right-handed, so... <clears throat> It's different. So how when we knit right-handed, we have our our left-hand needle has all of our stitches on it. It's opposite. When you knit left-handed, your needle in your right hand has all of your stitches and your empty needle is in your left hand. So yeah, it's just something different. And if you ever want to do a project where you want to knit backwards, just saves that turning. It's something fun to learn. We can, we'll chat about it at some point. Hi, um. Elena. How are you? So is um, that, um, um, this? that's Elena. She lives in Norway. So she's um, up super late right now. Elena lives in Norway? Mm -hmm. That's right, Marianne. Knitting backwards is great for baubles. Elena lives in Norway. She does. I don't think I ever, I ever You've I don't, never seen her. You, no. No, 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 no. I don't think you, you, um, you um, sent us a picture. Picture of her. Maybe, maybe. I don't think you never. Oh, I don't know. Well, I could show you one. Hi, so. Sam. What is is entry? Entrelac. So, um, Sam, that's where you're knitting squares. Um, something else you can add to your to knit list. So, this sock yarn. So, this is the project that I started probably last year. This is Songbird Fibers. The dyer's name is Vicky, and she's a local dyer here to us. And she does really, really pretty yarn. This is gray catbird, and I love it. It's a purpley gray with these little bits of red in here, which obviously must be the color of the bird. So Eric, Songbird Fibers, she picks a bird and has a picture of the bird, and then she dyes yarn to match the color of the bird. And then she also donates... It's a dollar or two dollars of every sale of her yarn towards a bird organization, which is really fun. <laughs> so look at this. I think, and I'm working on decreasing the gusset stitches right now. And I'm getting very close, to just the last couple of rounds of uh, gusset stitches to decrease. And then I'll just be on the leg. So I opted for just my um. regular heel that I always do. I remember a couple of weeks ago I was talking about I wanted, you know, something new and different, an afterthought heel, a fish lips kiss heel, a strong heel, uh, what were all the other options? And then in the end, 
I just went with what I know because <laughs> I can just knit it out of my head. So I will, uh, I will knit another pair of socks at some time and try like the flagel heel. I saw somebody just posted in the Fiber Friends. They just finished a pair of socks for the April challenge and it had a flagel heel. And I'm like, darn, that was on my list. I was supposed to do that and I haven't got done. Anyways, I will at one point. Yes, Susie, I'm sure she does. This, this, I think I just bought this last October at the Woolstock Festival. So it's not old. It hasn't been in my stash for decades. So I'm pretty sure if you go online, you will I, be, you'll be able to find it there. I need your help with Bobby's. Bobbles? Louise. Okay. Yep, Sam, when I eventually make it back to knitting, I will yeah, do cause, that. Cause, Why does ribbing take so long? I wonder if I know sometimes you get in that section, don't you? And it just seems to go and go and go. Cause, cause Sam, Sam, cause, cause, do you want to tell mom, do you tell her? Just, just be clearly honest with me. Oh. Just be honest. So, okay. So I'll listen, let you, I'll tell listen, you. Listen, listen to Sam, okay? Listen to us. Right? One second, Perfect. All right. All right. Perfect. Go, 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 go. So. Be honest with I, I have um I'm sitting right here. So just so I can hear you. And those grandmas I'm, uh, I I think I'm I'm attempting to get a little bit more knitting time in my future. <laughs> I guess that's how we're gonna look at it. So you guys, tell her why. you guys all know that I broke my kneecap like two months ago. So I'm almost healed up from that. And Saturday, believe it or not. I fell and broke my foot. So <laughs> I am back in a cast on my foot. And that's what I worked on. I happened to have this sock in my bag. And one of the first things as I was sitting there having to call an ambulance because I couldn't drive, it's my right foot. Um, but my first thought was, do I have any knitting with me? <laughs> and I had this sock in my bag. So I was able to get this. I had, um, I think I might have just started gusset decreases and I was able to sit there and work on this for a few hours, a couple hours while I waited, had x-rays and waited and got fitted for a fancy air boot cast. And mm -hmm. yeah, so that is the newest scoop. I know. So I'm going to have a little bit more knitting time. So there was a chance that I could get this pair of socks finished now. Yes. Even though the Fiber Friends Sock Knitting Challenge is finished for April and lace has started for May, which is also why some people voted for lace for the sweater, uh, the summer top, because Fiber Friends May is lace month. Oh. So, anyways, I'm yes. going to have a little more time off work, I'm thinking. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Have a Are you hearing this, Sam? Are you hearing this? Yeah, so that means that yeah, okay, it'll be a little while before I see Sam at Knitting Club again. I don't... 53 dish class at the end of April. Sam, that's amazing. Yes, and... I know, Cindy. If only it was that easy. <laughs> I know. So, anyways, mm. there is hope that this... I will actually get a pair. I'd like to get this done. Mm -hmm. So, now... I mean, I've got most, I should do a, a count, but I'm looking like I'm getting almost back to just round and round knitting on the foot and then find some DPNs or a long 40 inch needle I will, to um, I will, do the toes. I will, will probably knit a sock in me. Elena, you were saying, right, that you always seem to be like a month behind the Fiber Friends Challenge. <laughs> so, okay, you and I, we can work on socks in May. Um, mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Only only that is a lot, Sam. I know. Fifty-three dish class. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I know, Jocelyn. I know. What are the odds? I had to, I had to call. Um, ambulance. My my yeah. I had to call the ambulance. And anyways, anyways. Mm -hmm. But what but, do you do? But but I think. I think you, in all fairness, though, I think my mom did the good choice. 
I did a good choice. Pretty good. It hurt, and I couldn't drive, and I couldn't walk. So I guess I didn't have too much choices, did I? I, I oh, like to Nicole. learn how to How to knit socks next. Mm -hmm. Sock knitting is a lot of fun. I mean, sock knitting is fun. It's super I've, portable. You get something to knit, I mean, to wear, well, relatively quick when you get them finished. And, um, yeah, they're not that hard, but they're fun. And you get, like, just amazing sock yarn. You can either get something plain, self-striping. And, I mean, a lot of people that I know that knit socks, like I'm thinking of Adrian, who knits tons and tons and tons of socks all the time. And hers are always just a plain vanilla and just let the pretty sock yarn be the star of the show and just yeah it's so fun and the heels you can switch around your heels like there's a lot of fun things that you can do it doesn't have to get boring once you you think you've got sock knitting done you don't have to keep doing the same pair over and over there's like you can put so many different stitch patterns on your legs there's well there are different cast-ons but really, just to make sure as long as you've got a nice stretchy cast on, that's the biggest thing. But switch out your heel. There are different toes that you can do. You can just mix and match all kinds of combinations, and you can be knitting for a long, long, long time. Yeah. And once people start um, knowing you're knitting socks, people may be lining up asking you to uh, knit them for you, for yeah. them. Okay. Yes, Jocelyn. But May's challenge is lace. That's interesting. I've been looking for an excuse to pick up my oh oh my cardigan. Well, it is lace, and it started today. Nice. So we've got a full month worth of lace knitting for the Fiber Friends. Yep, anything goes. New starts, um, works in progress. Socks, cardigans, dishcloths, anything. As long as it's got some lace in there, you are good to go. Post it in the Fiber Friends Ravelry thread, and then. You'll be eligible for draws. Um, mom. Cindy. Mom, who's Cindy? Cindy. Oh, she's another I don't thing. remember. So, mom, okay, that's right. Okay. Cindy said you... Okay, so Cindy's doing her first two-color sock of a post after the podcast. I would love to see it. That's exciting. Mm. How is the fit, Cindy? Mm. Is it... Mm. Did you go up in needle size? Hi, Deborah. Knee and foot. And they're dead, both different legs. Too. So, it's on both. both oh uh, no, the Thursday before Eastern fractured. Oh, Eastern and went back to work today. Mm -hmm. They say eight works to eight weeks to heal. Oh, Deborah, how are you feeling? That's that's um. Oh, oh that's. Oh, Sam, you're gonna you're gonna make it to two hundred. If anybody can, you can. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. I know. Deborah was in an accident. And she had a broken bone. Are you are you okay, Deborah? Yeah. Where where I know, where, I guess that's no, 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 where, <clears throat> where was Deborah? Where when the accident occurred? It was um she was in a car accident be just before Easter. But where though? Oh I don't know, probably near her house. Well ask her, Mom. Well maybe it doesn't really matter. Where where were where were you De Good, Deborah? Deborah where, where, where when you when you when you got in your accident, knitting where my first were pair you? of shorties. Mm, where were yeah. you? Okay, I know she heard you. you she, we'll see if she, she may answer. She may not. That's mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so Cindy said, uh, "Oh, oh, you did not go up in needle size, but trying to keep your floats long enough." Okay, just have you tried it on? That would just be my one little word of advice, just to make sure, because sometimes it can be tight. But as long as you're watching your floats, that's a good thing. Susie's knitting her first pair of shorties. Perfect time for shorties with cotton collage. Oh, cotton and wool and nylon. That would be nice for this time of year. See, know. shorties are always good because they're like half a sock and you can get them done. <laughs> um, oh, Nicole, that's 400 ends to weave in. Oh, my gosh. Very what? Yeah. Um, Susie, I'm, okay, yes, yes, yes. Deborah, oh, no, you need some... Um, oh, and compress. Oh, live in Michigan. Knitting your um, bones, knitting bones, and making compresses. Oh, Sam, I live oh, okay. In Michigan. Mom, I live, 
Yep. So do you know where Michigan is? Yeah. So it's not very far from us. Yeah. Nope. Well, well, no. Not very, very, not very far, far from from the cottage. Well, it's a lot farther from the cottage, but from our house. From which house? My house. Okay. It's not very far. Okay. It's a, it, it's a just a day's drive. Um. Okay. Yes. So that's right. Okay. So who said that? It's Deborah. Oh no 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 no. Nicole said to Sam. So yes, if she's got two hundred dishcloths, a stir. Starting end and a cast on end, 400 ends to weave in. Okay, I have never, ever thought about it like that. <laughs> That's a lot of ends to weave in, isn't it? So, so what happened to Deborah? Deborah, oh, nothing. Um, there, Sam, you've got courage. I know you can do it. Sam can do it. All right, I got to fix my hair here. Hold on for a sec. Um, oh, so she was on the highway where the accident happened. Which mm -hmm. highway, Deborah? Well, it's called, in the U.S., it's like, M59. That's probably like our 401. Is that true, Deborah? Maybe. <laughs> like a major, uh, it's a, a highway. Is it, is it, is it a major, mm -hmm. major accident? Big time dedication. Sam, Sam I want to say Deborah, bro, was, was that, was that a major accident? Or like a major road? Like a major road? Was road that road. a major road? Yeah. I'm trying to ask you. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let me see. I'm going to check some comments here. So yeah, that's a lot of ends, Sam. Sam, have you ever stopped to think about how many ends that is to weave in? But 53 dishcloths, that's more than practically every knitter knits in the entire year. And it's only four months into the year. Oh my gosh. Jocelyn's counting down to Halloween. Did you see that? It's only six months to Halloween. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jocelyn loves Halloween. Why do you love Halloween, Jocelyn? No, no, Candy. Mom, why did you do you love Halloween, Jocelyn? Right, she'll tell you. Um, I'm hoping to and, cast and on Deborah. her knit. Oh, oh. for the holiday. You're going to cast on something Halloween-y tonight? And get the gauge, oh, get the gauge flesh done. That's fun. Um, Jocelyn and I did a Halloween scarf challenge. Good. Halloween <laughs> scarf challenge last year. Deborah. Okay. What is only going... Few miles an hour when the car in front stop and mm. I couldn't stop that fast. I hit my steering wheel, wing wheel, mm. my steering wheel, mm. and what's who's this? Yep. Who's this? Yep. Who's this? That's Nicole. Who's Nicole? Another knitter. Okay, well, boy, it's practically Chris, I know. So that I know really. It's getting that time to almost start thinking about holiday knitting again. Jocelyn, you're really not that far off, are you? De Deborah? I I'm feeling bad for you, Deborah. Mm -hmm. I really am Well I really sure am, sure. Deborah. All right. So Cindy said I need to get some orange yarn. Want to make orange socks. Oh, with bats on them. That would be fun. So do you know where you, what orange yarn? Like just like a solid regia or see if there's a hand dyer that's got an orange um, tonal. I was wanting to say gradient, but that's not tonal is what I wanted to say. I know it is. That is kind of exciting to think it's almost time to start thinking about Halloween. Christmas. Christmas, you know. <laughs> Don't get me started on Christmas, come Grandma. Come around so fast, right? Grandma, don't, don't get me started on Christmas. Oh, okay. oh it's oh, not a good question. No, no, no. no. Just mm -hmm. read, read that as like, which, okay. which is one? Oh, wait, so is, this, is this one? We know about the Halloween one? Read Anne. Hmm. Where's Anne? This, right there. Does, does the least challenge me reading it with least or at uh, least looks item. So it means a, a lace item. So you don't have to use lace weight yarn. You can use a worsted, you can use a chunky and do a lace weight scarf or no, 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 it's not, not lace weight. You can use bulky or worsted weight yarn and use a lace pattern and do a scarf or a cowl or a hat. My, um, what did, what the hat that I just finished, 
I want to say goldenrod. Was it goldenrod? Milkweed. I think it was milkweed. You know, it was a plant. I think it was milkweed. Does anybody remember? The yellow hat that I did that had the lace pattern on it. That was a really fun. And it was done with a number five bulky. So that would be a quick lace pattern. It was a paid for pattern, but the pattern was really well written. I just had to modify mine because I used yarn that was a little heavier. So I had to um, decrease the number of repeats that I did. But it was a fun knit. It, it was one that I would do again. I'll have to, I'll put the um, link in the Fiber Friends Facebook group because that would be a fun one if anybody's looking for something. Yeah, so don't let lace um, deter you and think that it has to be lace weight or sock weight yarn and it needs to be a full lace shawl. Um, anything, anything at all. Oh, so you prefer hand dyed? That would be fun. Oh my oh, God. Sam, that's smart. So, we're still on guys. Bye, Gerber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you almost got to peek at my dad. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, really? <laughs> sorry, Gerber. I'm sorry. But uh, he apparently did not want to walk by the camera, so he's lost. <laughs> I do. Um, anyways, what was I saying? I can't even remember now. Dishcloth, prefer hand dyed, um, lace knitting. Anyways. Oh, Susie, no, I'm going to talk to Cheryl. We'll have to, I, I don't know. We haven't decided on June. We'll have to get our act together here and decide a couple of months ahead here for what we're going to do. And then I'll post them. So then yeah, we can start planning a little bit um, farther ahead. Oh, Marianne, you just finished a lace joke sweater yesterday. <laughs> you had to be super speedy. You kind of waited and finished it today. I don't have the Ravelry thread open, though, but I guess I better because there's a lot of speedy knitters out there. Oh, well. Susanna. Susanna, yes. Sorry, I have to go. Oh, no. I get, go get a headache and feel real creep. Crappy, yeah, I'm not feeling well. well sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 yeah. I'm feeling bad for you. Yeah, go and, get some rest and feel better. I know headaches are uh, terrible to deal with. And, and Susanna, Liz, 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 Liz and Sus, Susie, and Kate, Kate, Kate and Sam, Sam. I have to say, I like Mama, Katie's Liz, idea here. Oh, I can't talk, talk to them. Sorry, yeah. of course. So, I, no, you can't swear. Well, this is a Okay. Anyways, mm -hmm. did you read Katie's? I like Katie's. <laughs> um, Katie no. votes for Christmas. No. No. I sorry. Apparently, I just like ruined his whole flow here. Um, Katie votes for Christmas in July. I actually like that. No. Did, no Christmas in July. No. Never Christmas. What? You love Christmas. Only Late when, December? Yes. We've never done Christmas in July, Katie. I would be tempted. I don't know. If we if we can convince Cheryl, or maybe if everybody convinces Cheryl, how can she say no? I I I think Christmas in July actually would be fun. Um oh Sam, I can't wait what? for end of July. I can start my Halloween dish class for my sister and my mom. They do. Sam's family is a big Halloween family, too. I have to say, I, I think it's between Sam and Jocelyn, I have gotten much more into Halloween the last, definitely this past year. Um, yeah, really, I've always liked fall and really decorated for fall with pumpkins and, you know, all kinds of fall corn stalks and all that kind of thing. But, yeah, this past year, I got really much more into Halloween. And it actually it is it is very fun. Oh, this Cindy said I bought the book Charming Colorwork Socks. Nice. Oh, I saw that, but I did not. Yeah. So, 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 so. I'm gonna say this one more time. More time. Hmm. Time stamp, okay. Here. But do you no. do you want my number? You guys can see each other in person. Do you want my number okay. sent? Yeah. I'm serious. Yes. Um oh what yes. is mm. What is your favorite Halloween dishcloth? Oh, yeah. Sam's got a few. She's got some 
really fun illusion knitting ones that were good for Halloween. Oh, yes, Natalie is a big Halloween lover over Christmas. Yeah. Um, okay, so I need to find a needle to do a gauge swatch. I'm excited to try this little pattern that I found. And it's, well, well I mean, like, like all lace. Yep. Do you want me to grab it? No, that's okay. I'll, I'll just do a post and show them. Okay. So sorry, like all lace, sorry for that, everyone. I was going to say, it's just yarn overs and knit twos together, but that is exactly what lace is, isn't it? So it, it's, a cute, it's a cute little pattern. So I'm going to do that. Now that I'm really getting into the flow here of the entrelac, I'm going to keep working on that, work on my sock. I'm just going to sit with my leg up. I can't, I'm pretty much couch bound. I can't walk hardly at all. So um, it's going to be a knitting, like knitting, audiobooks, Netflix, yeah, yeah. pretty much for the next couple of weeks. For the next six weeks, everyone. Yes. And yes, and Jocelyn and I will be chatting Thursday night. It's our um, Eric. Please, please. Eric. Um, it is our monthly check-in. So this is where we have to meet to see if we've met our goal or not. So that is always fun because if you guys join us on our Thursdays, it's really hit or miss. I mean, anything goes. So you can join us Thursday night, 7.30, so half an hour earlier than we started tonight. I and hope you feel so. Thanks, Marianne. I hope so, too, because this one's, yeah, this one hurts. So Then I will go up to the hospital. Mom. Well, anyways. Mom, 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 I will go up to the hospital. Mom, I'm serious. If it know. gets worse, I will. I'm not too good. I know. Okay, yes, Mom, Netflix I'm not and joking everything. with you last time I was there. All right, thank you. All right. Ah, Netflix. And I know. And next week. Five minutes. I know. We just, yeah, we're just down to the last five minutes. And I'm just. Bye, say. Sam. 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 Sam, you guys are fast. If I'm going to have your number or not. She's not giving it to Sam, you. Sam, please. Hurry. Um. Good night, all. What it's going to say is the next thing that I'm going to binge Good watch. Night, all. I know. Susan's, my favorite. My favorite. Um, just because our oh, illusion. The illusion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the new Netflix series, the or, um Bridgerton, Bridgerton series, Queen Charlotte, is coming out. I think this, like me, the fourth. Is that Friday? Friday. Thursday, Friday, something like that. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to. Anita and I are going to watch that as soon as it comes out. So that'll um, be my my Netflix and knitting. Um, May 4th? Yeah. yeah, you want to check and see what day it is? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for that, that's a Thursday. visiting. That's a Thursday, everyone. Is it? Okay. Can you see that, everyone? What's a Thursday night? Can you see that, everyone? Perfect. So, there you go. So it'll be I'll be able to, I'll be able to watch it after Jocelyn and I finish chatting on Thursday night then. Okay, so everybody thanks. Thanks for voting Lace. I'm excited to give this a go. So we'll come back next Monday. Good night, everyone. And we'll see how the lace and the black are working together. Good night, Eric. If um, Good night, Eric. Good night, Eric. Yeah. I'm not thinking oh, negative shit. I see that. I see that. Yes, that's right. Um, I was gonna say if I if the if the lace and the black really.